Let's find out how the enemy accuracy algorithm in Warframe works. I have tried asking D Rebecca directly on Twitter. I have asked on the Warframe forums. I have asked on the Warframe subreddit. I have asked in my clan Discord chat. I have checked the wiki. I have looked all over and there is basically no information on how the system works aside from this forum post in 2015 where DE Daniel B explains that they have updated the enemy accuracy algorithm. And they went from a system where enemies had perfect accuracy up to a short range, at which point it dropped off a cliff and they basically had a zero chance to hit you at very long ranges. Then they made a system where the enemy accuracy was variable. It depended upon the range that they were at uh, and it depended upon the weapon that they had. So for a pistol, for example, they had good accuracy at close range and then it dropped substantially and then they had basically no chance to hit you at all past mid range up to long range. And if they had a sniper rifle, they were very unlikely to hit you from close range, but they still had a chance and the accuracy ramped up to 100% at short to mid range and the range slowly decreased over a long distance. So they still had a chance to hit you even at long ranges while using a sniper rifle where compared to a pistol, they had no chance to hit you at long range. I hope that makes sense. Additionally, the enemy's accuracy will take some time after spotting you to ramp up to its maximum. No more sneaking up on a sniper rifle, but have them spin around and instantly shoot you in the head. So if you're invisible and you're around a bunch of enemies that are unaware of your presence and you lose your invisibility, they are not just gonna insta-kill you. There's a chance that they will, but the chance is low. Realistically, it's going to take them time to ramp up their accuracy and start hitting you. Finally, at the end of this post, combined with the acrobatic aiming penalties, Fast Agile Tano should have plenty of options to avoid and dispatch their foes. What is the acrobatic aiming penalties? And that's the question I wanna get into in this video. How effective are acrobatics at reducing enemy accuracy? We're gonna test it out in the simulacrum with Nyx because Nyx has a passive that reduces enemy accuracy by 20% at all times. In addition to that, I've equipped Nyx with a couple mods Primarily, the most important one here is Agility Drift. It gives plus 6% evasion. What is evasion? How does it work? And the algorithm, can we see the formula DE? Please be more transparent on this information so that players like myself can decide for ourselves whether or not Agility Drift is actually worth using. Okay, I'm going to ask a few questions. Are enemies uh, less accurate when you are running around? The answer is yes. Are enemies less accurate when you're wall latching? The answer is yes. Are enemies less accurate when you are aim gliding or just in the air? The answer is yes. And I know this because I've been running these tests and now I'm going to prove it to you so that you can see for yourself. So let's go ahead and spawn three level one corrupted heavy gunners so they can spew a bunch of bullets at me. And oh, let's not forget to turn on the enemy AI. All right. Shoot at me. They're hitting me. Now they're not hitting me. They're hitting me. Hitting me. Wow, these guys have terrible accuracy. Now they're not hitting me. Well, that one's hitting me a little bit. hitting me a lot. Oh, they're about 20. Yeah, 20 is seems to be the optimal range for these guys. I don't know why they don't just go to 20 and then just stay there. Anyway, as you can see, instantly they start missing a whole bunch when you just go ahead and aim glide. When you stand on the ground, they're hitting him. Okay, let's try wall latching. As you can see, they're missing a lot more when I'm wall latching. And when I fall to the ground, When one of them decides to start shooting at me. Come on. Hitting me, hitting me. Missing me. This one's hitting me a lot. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed with this too, with this system is that sometimes it doesn't seem to work very well, but it could just be that wall latching has very little effect. Aim gliding has a huge effect, clearly. Aim gliding significantly drops their accuracy. Wall 
Wall latching clearly has some effect, but it's hard. it's a little bit spotty with wall latching. Wall latching seems a lot, yeah, it's a lot less reliable than just aim gliding. Okay, and then lastly, running around. I know that running around, and you should probably know, running around does affect enemy accuracy. They're less likely to hit you when you're running around. Okay, well that's it. It's been proven now, aim gliding, even when you're just sitting in the air, not moving at all, significantly decreases enemy accuracy. Wall latching seems to reduce enemy accuracy, but it's not as effective as aim gliding, and running around also reduces enemy accuracy. I don't know if wall latching and running around are equal, or if one is better than the other. I can just tell that they do reduce enemy accuracy. So, you can decide for yourself if it's worth trying to use this as a technique to maintain your survivability with squishier warframes like Nyx. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.